Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Unrooted Women's Basketball Edition. And my guest for this week's show is none other than junior guard on the women's basketball team here at Menlo College, Jessica Rogers. Jessica, thanks so much for joining me on the show. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you're, it. You're very welcome. Uh, let's start by talking a little bit about yourself. This season, you were one of the team captains, which I'm sure is quite the honor when someone like Shannon Spataro was picking you to be a captain on the team. Uh, what does that mean to you? Honestly, it means that my teammates and coach has um, trusted me. And that uh, just is a great feeling, knowing that they trust me to be responsible with different type of uh, responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I just am grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, and especially for someone who's now been here for a couple of seasons, you've played a very important role in the team the past couple of seasons, and it seems like you are always in games when something really important needs to happen. <laughs> So it makes a lot of sense. Now, I want to go back to kind of what we talked about on the first Unrooted you were on last year. Of course, you were Miss Popular in high school, yeah. voted most popular back at her uh, Pinole Valley days, but you were also the senior ball queen. I feel like they come hand in hand. Do they really? Well, if I ran, I, there was, I didn't think I was going to lose. Do you have to run for the queen? Yes, you have okay. to have a certain like GPA like to make sure you're in good standings. Okay. And then you have to put in a ballot like saying, oh, I'm going to run. Okay. So there were probably like three other girls that ran. Yeah, see, I didn't know anything about how that process <laughs> went. I thought you were just randomly like voted as oh, that person. So, so you run and you campaign around the school until senior ball and then they vote um, on ball. And so this is a out. big thing. Oh, yeah. It was huge. I had signs all around campus. <laughs> That's awesome. So how much time did you prepare getting ready for this moment? You know, I'd have to say I thought about it since my freshman year of high school. Really? Yeah, I knew I wanted to run. Um, I didn't run my junior year. We have a junior prom and senior ball mm -hmm. separated. So I waited until my last year. And give everybody else a chance. That's incredible. <laughs> so I'm sure I asked you this last year, but I'm going to ask you again. Is there anything you like didn't do back in high school? Because it seems like you know. Oh. oh, I also played. I played. I played softball. I I was most popular. I was the senior ball queen. Like, what oh. didn't you do? I wasn't in. Um, there's a leadership committee where you plan the ball and events and stuff. I you didn't were too busy that. running for queen, <laughs> so you didn't have to be a part of that, right? You were on a completely different level. You I were tried to give my input sometimes, like when they asked, they asked for my opinion on uh -huh. something, so maybe I like slipped it in here and there what I thought we should do. Did they listen? Sometimes, sometimes. Well, they, they, maybe they didn't always listen because you weren't the queen yet. <laughs> if you're the yeah. queen, then maybe- We had to wait for the vote to come in. Had to wait for the vote to come in, so you should have talked to them for next year's. <laughs> Yeah, ball, that should have been which it. I guess now was still like three years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was so, a while ago. Yeah. It's, it must be so weird going back and talking about high school things. It right? is. I feel like time went by so fast. Like even if I talk about two years ago, like I'm still here at Menlo. Yeah. High school is a, feels like a different yeah, life. Well, it really is weird for me too. I, I go talking about six years ago and I was still here. Whoa. Completely different side though from employee to student, so I get what you're saying completely. Let's talk about the team here a little bit. Menlo had just one game last week. The Oaks took on William Jessup up in Rockland, and it was a tale of two halves for Menlo. I'll start with the positive, which was the first half and really the first three quarters of the game. How did Destiny Bowie and her return help the flow of everything for you ladies? Well, as everyone knows, Destiny's a great rebounder and a great scorer, but her energy is what I love the best about her game and her bringing her energy back on the court I feel like really helped us in the first few quarters. And then all of a sudden in the fourth something just changed and William Jessup got hot and they started knocking down all these three-pointers. What happened defensively that allowed the Warriors to just get hotter? Was it something where you just have to tip their cap? You know after the first couple threes it's like okay good shot but us as a team we have to lock in better and notice who's hitting threes even if they don't hit those certain shots usually we have to realize that okay they're hitting them now and adjust so we just have to do a better job adjusting which we've been working on yeah it seemed like one positive the last few weeks has been the play of Salome Cordier oh, she's really been stepping up and producing uh, much more the last couple of weeks than she did early on in her freshman season what have you seen from her over the last several weeks that has been improving from the beginning of her first year to where she is now definitely her determination to get better Salome's the type of player who's going to go all, all out on every play in practice. Um, and she also gets up extra shots and works after practice 
it's just her hard work I feel like is just finally paying off and we know that she's very athletically gifted I, oh, don't, I don't know if there's many other players on your team who are quite as athletic and she's fast and everything as she is so once it once Keep it, it up, all come me. once it all comes together it's gonna be incredible and we can see it in flashes but now starting to see Put it, it all a together bit more often mm -hmm. here as we get down the stretch now this is a tough weekend on the road for the Oaks you have Vanguard Thursday and then you have San Diego Christian in the finale on Saturday what's the mindset of the team as you start to prepare for a push towards the playoffs because the race is starting to get pretty tight it's definitely starting to get tight I would have to say we're just focusing on staying hungry we have to want to get stops we have to want to score we have to want to win more than every other team out there we just have to focus on us and if we stay hungry and do what we need to do it'll reward us and with that desire to want to do more that will also put you into the playoffs and it'll be on your home court definitely so that certainly is something that year. you're that's something you're very yeah. very much so looking forward to definitely all right jessica let's get into the final segment of the show it's called brownie bites i'm going to ask you three off the wall questions give me your best answers all right question number one which teammate would make the best captain on a ship Ooh. um i'm gonna go with Alyssa. okay i feel like um Everyone might be freaking out if something's going on on the ship, but I feel like she'd keep us steady and go right, go left. So, I, I can see that. She gives me, she gives me the best uh, yeah. relaxed feeling. Yeah. I, I, like. could, I could also see you being someone who would probably do very well in that situation. It's As I mentioned earlier, it seems like you're in games when you need to not screw up because <laughs> you're very good at that. You don't screw up a lot. Yep. So it seems like you being inserted as like that calming presence I think I could you, do a you good could job be, at You could too. be a good captain. Someone who wouldn't, Shay Gibbons. Oh, no, Shay. I know that I, I know that because I don't remember if it was last week or if it was two weeks ago, but someone said Shay has a fear of water or like drowning or she doesn't like water. I just think she would freak out a little much if she was put in that position. I'm not sure how she feels about water. No. I know Anya no, doesn't Anya. like Anya. It was Anya. Anya. Oh, she my goodness. Like water. Oh, no. That's, no. Oh, my memory's she, failing me here. Shay's allergic to shellfish. Yes, that she is, can't okay. eat any type of seafood. Okay, well, so she might still not be good on a ship yeah. anyways. But, but Anya's the one. Shay, I am so very sorry. You can be the captain of the ship. I still wouldn't make her captain of the ship. You still... <laughs> Okay, well, she said it, not me. I you can try, be on I, the ship. You can be on the ship hanging out. Just don't eat any shellfish. Me and Alyssa will be steering it. Co-captains. Yes. I like the sound of that. Question number two. Which teammate will make the grandest entrance of all during her 20-year high school reunion? A.B. Aaliyah Brantley. Have to say her. I feel like she'll go shopping, get her hair done and makeup done and her nails done just to show everybody that she's the best. Okay. I, just, I feel like her attitude, she's just going to be like, yes, I'm here, and <laughs> I'm better than all of you. That was a good impersonation of her right yeah, there. That's, yeah, that's all right, cool. Just, you know, all yeah. upright, and I get that, yeah. And then question number three, if you went kayaking with teammates, who would likely be the one to tip it over? Oh, the other Aaliyah. <laughs> Arceus. <laughs> yes, yes. She uh, likes to joke around a lot, and... She'll, I feel like she'll tip it over by playing around, maybe like messing with you in the front or... Yeah, this would probably be a joke gone wrong. I don't know if too many people would appreciate that. Oh, no. Well, maybe as long as you're not whitewater rafting, perhaps. In that case, I, I would recommend not tipping the kayak over because that would just be a terrible idea. Yeah, that would. But, but otherwise, yeah, she's so full of energy. She might like, I don't know, see a fish in the water and this is like all of a sudden like lean down for it and then <laughs> everybody goes with her. I don't know. I, I think she might tip it over on purpose. Or just straight <laughs> up on purpose. That's <laughs> also, like water, that's just also another out. Again, let's hope Anya is not in the kayak for this. Shay, you oh, can be I in the kayak. Not. Anya, Anya, <laughs> no, she cannot be in the kayak for this. Uh, Jessica, thanks for joining me on the show. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. And folks, this is the final unrooted women's basketball edition for 2019. So Jessica doesn't have to pick anybody for next week. <sighs> the pressure is off of her for that. So she's she's off easy, off the hook. But 
We invite you to tune in for the final week of home basketball, which will be next weekend on the 21st and 23rd inside Haynes Prim Pavilion. The Oaks take on Arizona Christian in a big GSAC matchup on Thursday night. And then on Saturday, Senior Day against Ottawa of Arizona. That one will start at 2 o'clock. And if you can't make it out to Haynes Prim, the games will be streamed live on the Menlo College Sports Network. Well, we invite you to tune in to all the other episodes of Unrooted we have planned for the remainder of 2019. Baseball and softball beginning up next week, in addition to some track and field, golf, and the remainder of men's volleyball. So, a lot of things coming up down the pipeline, and we hope you tune in for all those. So until then, we'll see you next time, and take care, everyone.